Good morning, everyone. Today, over 4 billion people around the world, which is more than 50% of the global population, live in cities. Cities are essential to the world economy as they generate over 80% of the world's gross domestic product, which is the GDP, but they also consume most of the world's energy, and most of our cities were not built with a sustainability in mind. So, we are going to propose an idea to create a sustainable city, which is the end city. First and foremost, in the end city, there's a pathway to generate electricity just by walking on it. The paved joint tiles are electromagnetic. As people step on the tiles, their weight applies pressure and causes electric magnetic induction generators to rotate and generate off grid electricity. Next, there are bicycle rental stations that provide bicycles to can generate energy as well. According to a survey, a professional cyclist can pedal at well over 400 watts for an hour. Although this is not enough for the electricity consumption for residential use, which is 345 kilowatt hour per month in Malaysia, the energy produced is enough to charge small devices such as phones, power banks, etc. Besides that, there will be plants planted on top of the roof of each building and greenhouses are built. According to the World Economic Forum 2020, the plants can absorb 10,000 tons of CO2 and 57 tons of pollutants each year. They can also produce about 900 tons of oxygen. Besides, it can also help to decrease the average air temperature, create noise barriers, and boost biodiversity by creating a habitat for birds, insects, and small animals. Furthermore, garbage trucks that come with a segregation system will roam around the city. The truck will use an electromagnet to collect garbage bins, and then the segregation system in it will start working. There is a conveyor belt in it, and in the first part, the strong wind produced by the fan will blow the light and dry garbage into the first box. Then, an electromagnet will separate the magnetic waste. It will now lift the wet waste which goes into the last box. The curve under the conveyor belt will clean it. In addition, auto rubbish bins are implemented to automatically separate categories using sensors. There are also smart buildings that have coupled as heat insulators to decrease the usage of air conditioners, CFC and other gases. Looking from the aspect of health, NCT has street lights that can be powered using the paved jump plants and is installed with a thermographic camera to determine one's temperature and distance during the COVID-19 pandemic. Next, there are also wind turbines which generates electricity. The wind flows over the blades to collect the wind kinetic energy, which causes the blades to turn. The blades are connected to a draft shaft that turns an electric generator and the electrics are generated. We have also installed some solar panels on top of the roof, so the sunlight hit the solar panels and this will generate an electric current too. In conclusion, N-City is a sustainable city that reduces the amount of energy and resources used and improves the efficiency of systems. 